Okay, today I wanted to go over a couple of views of the discus throw from uh, Mikolas Alekna. He's a 19-year-old that uh, throws for the University of California. Got a view from the 12 o'clock position and a view looking from 9 o'clock on uh, two different days. He's, you can see he's wearing two different uniforms here. So let's take a look on the uh, left side here. You can see uh, he's, his feet are not quite uh, aligned straight to the back of the circle. He's aligned a little bit uh, to his left. So let's see as he winds up here. Right here you can see his, uh, he's got his weight balanced right between his feet. Okay, he's got the discus wound all the way back. Right foot's flat. He's got the knee and that hip locked in there. He's rotated his uh, left foot a little bit toward the uh, right foot here. Not all the way. Doesn't He's got the heel still back a little bit. He's looking down. His eyes are looking kind of down his left shoulder here. His left elbow, or his left shoulder is down. The elbows are down a little bit lower than his uh, right. Let's take a look at the uh, video on the right in that same position. You can see right here, he's got the, because uh, he's bent a little bit at the waist here. That's why he's uh, got this uh, left shoulder down a little bit. If he was standing straight up, then the shoulders would be level. Okay, so let's watch him come out of this. Turns the left foot. Left arm catches up. The first motion with the right foot, he uh, turns the heel outward. He brings the knee in. Now, looking at the video on the left, it looks like he just turns without uh, bringing his left leg, or I'm sorry, his right leg forward. But let's take a look at the uh, video here on the right side. You can see that he actually brings the right leg out in front and outside the circle here. See that? That's why I like to have the two views. So you can see he's not just turning the right foot to 9 o'clock. He's, he's actually driving it outward out of the circle. So he's getting a lot of radius here. So let me bring the... Uh... Bring both videos to about the same point, about right here. This is the... Uh, right about the 11 o'clock, I guess, position. 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. That's the uh, straightest his leg gets on the right, the sweep leg. And then from there, you see he bends it immediately and he starts driving with the inner thigh into the center. Uh, most of the throwers you'll see, they'll bring this leg out wide and sweep it around. But uh, I think that uh, you see some of these taller throwers doing this. To uh, Otherwise they might uh, extend it too far into the circle toward the front. Let's take a look at the uh, video on the right and see where his right foot ends up landing. See how he, he cooked hooks it in there right here he starts to bend it so he's leading with the inside of his right foot and the inside of the right knee and thigh he sweeps it across so he, he crosses his body here and then you can see he lands just past the uh, center so if he brought that leg all the way around and, and uh, with a wide sweep he uh, may have had a he may have had trouble uh, getting too far in past the center of the circle Okay, so right here, you can see the left foot has stopped where it's uh, it's blocked here, uh, facing down like the uh, right sector line. Let's take a look at the video on the left here. You can see the, the stop right here. There's the right sector line. See how it's facing and pointing that same direction? And it stops right there. He actually has the heel low. It comes up. And then he sinks it back down, so it's he's got a flat foot here, a real solid base. So he's holding that as he sweeps around. And then he lands right in the center of the circle. So he's not landing too far to the right or too far to the left. It's right in the middle. And I think that's the reason uh, you see some of these throwers doing this, lock, blocking this in. I don't like the feeling of doing that where you're kind of crossing a, this right leg across your body. But 
I think that helps them uh, drive into the circle and land in the middle. Let's take a look at the video on the right. Looking at the same things. The left heel is up, left heel goes down flat, right about there. And he sweeps, okay, across. Now one thing that's interesting uh, on this video on the right, you can see where his head is, even with this part of the stadium, the uh, upper balcony, this gray. Now as he drops down, you can see his head now is below this, this, uh, this, this gray line. But as he comes around, that's about as low as he gets right here. See this gap? Now as he comes around with that right leg sweep, he extends that left leg upward vertically. Where normally I would see most people keep that knee low so they can drive across the circle. I think because of his height, uh, I believe he's 6'4 or 6'5. He's trying to get more rotational in here rather than trying to drive across the circle. Uh, the ring might be just a little small for his height. So he actually comes up. You can see how his head now is back not only uh, to this uh, line, but actually above it. You can see how high both his feet are in the air. And there's no flight, no, no support phase right here, this flight phase. You can see how that uh, left heel gets vertical which keeps the knee down a little bit. So as he, he gets a full extension right here, but then as this heel comes up the vertical, you'll see the knee drop back down. That'll help this to rotate faster across to the circle to the front. He also does something very interesting here. Usually I'll see this leg from the knee to the heel, the shin part here, horizontal like he has here, but he actually brings his heel upward and then he hooks it downward so you can see from the more of the push off till it comes down, he's following a, an arc. And then he lands here. There's the toe landing right there. So he's in his uh, saddle or cowboy position. He's got his uh, shoulders and chest facing back to 12 o'clock. He's landed with his knee and left foot open more to the throwing section, which opens his hips up and creates a separation between his hips and his uh, shoulders. You can see at this point his, uh, his feet are about 45 degrees facing outward from each other. The discus is about here back behind his right foot. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, when his hips are at 12 o'clock. Let me go back to the uh, video on the left here. And right there, you can see his foot is at 12, his hips are facing 12, and you can see his left shoulder and elbow are also facing 12 means his chest is facing directly at 3, so he's got maximum separation here between his hips at 12 and his uh, chest facing over here at 3. Let's see if he has a, a wrap. Not really bringing the arm back, just kind of uh, stops it. Just kind of holds it right there with the hand bent, and the uh, or the arm bent at, um, at the elbow here, and the hand is facing six o'clock he just kind of holds that and then uh, once he gets here he's accelerating downward into the into the throw left foot's going to come down accelerates it around and right here the discus is still in his hand but both feet are off the ground you'll see right here his left foot has gotten off the ground before the right foot Okay, let's go back to the right video, take a look. See as the discus is low here, he's going to bring it up to the high point from the uh, back of the circle to the front. And there's our high point here at uh, 6 o'clock when his uh, left elbow's at and his right foot are at uh, facing 12. And his uh, left foot is facing 6 with the uh, discus. Okay, and his chest is facing out to... Uh, three o'clock that way. All right, there's our saddle position. Now you can see his, his uh, left hip, his leg is blocked now, so nothing on this left side is gonna go forward at this point. He's extending, see the left knee is extending right there. 
and then the right is going to continue to drive around. See, he's, that, he's not really, he's not trying to push up with that right. It's just uh, coming upward because he's extended his left leg into the throw. And that extension there helps to block and stop that left hip. And the right is going to continue going around that solid left block, around that axis. You can see right here, his uh, knee is facing uh, toward the left leg. His foot is facing this way. And the disc is still in his hand. His right hip is past the left hip. Let's go back here to the left vi video here. Try to find that same spot so we can see his right leg right here. Discus is still in his hand. He's got his right hip ahead of the left hip. The right knee is rotating around the left side. You see he's got the heel kicked out to the right. So he's driving everything around that left side block. Watch how... Uh, Got a, if you have a line here between his uh, from his head to his foot, Let's see if I can draw one here. You can see how he rotates around that line. Okay, his upper body's not pushing forward. Discus is out of his hand. Now he starts to move the whole upper body forward. Okay, so he's rotating around this axis. It's very important. See too many people trying to finish with their upper body forward, before before the discus is released. See, the discus is released right there. He's still on this line between his, from his head to his uh, left foot. Okay. Now watch his left, uh, his left shoulder, left elbow. See, they're blocked right here, and everything's gonna rotate around that side. See how it holds as he rotates around, and then everything moves forward. He's not taking his left shoulder and left elbow and pulling them behind him. Everything stops, and then the right ro ro rotates around and goes forward. Okay. All right, that's uh, about all I have for this uh, young man with some incredible throws. Uh, if you have any other requests for a uh, thorough you want to see me analyze, uh, go ahead and uh, drop a comment down or you can uh, message me on, uh, on my Twitter. All right, thanks.